Hi, welcome to today's class. Today we have this um, a math challenge before us here. Okay, how to simplify a cube root of uh, this kind without the use of the calculator. Okay, if you plug this into your calculator, it will give you uh, 2.61 blah, 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 blah. Okay, but without the use of the calculator, in case of uh, examination, how do you simplify this to get that value here? That's the reason for this video. So let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So here we're taking selection. All right. Now, this expression here, we're going to do a simple substitution for it here. So here, let's say, let, uh, let's take our x be equal to our cube root of our 7, the plus square root of 50, the plus cube root of 7 minus the square root of 50. Okay, so if we have our s to be this, we want to bring in other two variables to represent this and this. So we can say here, and our m, let it be the first one, which is the cube root of our 7, the plus the square root of 50. So if we have this to be this, if I want to um, uh, eradicate this cube root here, then I'm going to take the cube of both sides. So this is going to give us our m to the power of 3 is equal to 7 the plus the square root of 50. Then again, we do the same thing here. We bring down the alphabet to represent the side of this. So let's take our n. Let n be the cube root of our 7 minus the square root of 50. And this now implies our n for the power of 3 will now be equal to our 7 the minus the square root of 50. Easy. Okay, so what we do next here is this. Now we remember our um, okay, our algebraic identity, which says that if you have your uh, you have your a and a flux, our b r to the power of three, this is automatically our a to the power of three, then flux our b to the power of three, then um flux our three a um b then into our a flux b close bracket. You remember this very expression here? Good. So if we have this to be this, now look at this now. From this expression here, we want to eliminate this, eliminate this radical. So what we do, we cube both sides of the equation. So we're going to cube this and cube this. Okay, so we can only give this, or easily give this one equation one, give this equation two, then give this equation three. Okay, so if we cube our equation one, then what is it going to give us? This going to Give us all this line implies our x to the power of 3 is equal to now the whole of this expression is something of this kind here. Yeah, sorry, of this kind here yeah, when we cube it. Okay, so if it is of this kind, now let's bring it to this format here. So we're going to have our a to the power of 3 is what look at it here is m to the power of 3, which is equivalent to this. So we're going to have here 7 plus the square root of 50, then. Plus, what is our b to the power of 3? Our b to the power of 3 is this n to the power of 3, here, which is this. So we're going to have here 7 minus the square root of 50. Okay, then plus our 3 into what is our ab? Our ab, look at it here, is going to be this, our m times n. So automatically we're going to have it to be a cube root of what is our m here? We have 7. The plus the square root of 50. Okay, then plus x, right? Then bracket, bracket, the cube root of um, our n here. So we have here the cube root of our 7 minus the square root of 50. Again, close bracket. Then what is our a plus b? Now look at this here. Our x, this, the whole of this is our m. Then this our n. So this is going to give us m plus b, which is our automatically a plus b. So we can put in here just x. Easy. Any confusion? So we look at this again now. Let's look at this. We discover that from here we're going to have this and this will leave the system. Okay, so we cannot go ahead to add this and this together. So this is going to give us our 14. Then plus let's see what we can do to this. So this is cube root, this is cube root. So we can multiply what we have inside this place here now. And if you look at these terms here, they are the same. The only difference is that this is plus and this is minus. 
So this is more or less a conjugate of this guy inside here. So if that is true, they automatically will go to have a 7 to the power of 2, then minus square root of 50 all to the power of 2. Okay, so here it's going to give us here our 3 bracket, the cube root of our 7 to the power of 2 minus the square root of 50, right, all to the power of 2. Close bracket into our x. Teaching good? Yeah. So let's go on again. Now, if we do this, this is going to give us 49, and this, this will leave the system. So this, this will cancel off, and this will give us 49. So this is equal to 14. They plus our 3 into the cube root of our 49, then minus, yeah, close bracket, or into x. So this is equal to, again, we have our 14, that plugs our 3 into the cube root. This minus this will give us minus 1, or into x. So let's continue on the side of the board. So we're having our s cube here, so let's go here. We have the x to the power of 3. This is equal to, now, what is the cube root of minus 1? That will give us minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1. So automatically, it's going to give us minus 1. So we can use the minus 1 to times our x here, times this plus and 3 here. In fact, let's go gradually. So we're going to have here 4 into, or sorry, 14 rather. Oh, no, minus. So we have here 14. We have plus our 3 into minus 1 or into x. Easy. So we have the x to the power of 3 is equal to 14. Then minus, okay, 3x. Move this to the side of the equation. So we have x to the power of 3. Then this, um, this process to this side gives you plus our 3x. Then minus 14. This is equal to 0. So this is a cubic equation. In other words, the power is what? A three, and so how do we solve this cubic equation? We have to look for three roots to this solution, sorry, to this problem here. So it is easy. We do what is called the trial by error method. So if we substitute positive one into this, it will not give us zeros. If we put in negative one, it will not give us the zero. If we put in negative two, it will not give us the zero. But if we put in positive two, that will give us zero. How? Now, if we put in two here, this will be eight, and we multiply this by two, that will be um, a six. So eight plus six, it give us positive fourteen. Positive fourteen minus uh, fourteen that will give us zero. So therefore, it means that our x minus two is equal to zero. Is one of the factors of this expression. So if it is one of the factors of this expression, what we do here now, we use the long division method to get the other two factors from here, or to get the quadratic equation from the system here, right? So let's use the long division method here. So we're going to have this to be our x to the power of 3. Then we don't have x to the power of 2 in this system, but I want to introduce it to, you know, say guide us in the process of division. Then we're going to have it to be plus 0 x to the power of 2, then plus our 3x, then minus 14. This has not really changed anything because zero x to the power of two is still the same zero. Okay, so we put our device on x minus two here. This is our dividend. Okay, so what we do? We use this x here to divide this x to the power of three, and that will give us x to the power of two. Use this to multiply this. This will give us x to the power of a three. Then we use this to multiply this. This will give us minus a two x to the power of two. Then we subtract. Okay. So when we subtract this, this will leave the system. So plus 0x to the power of 2 minus minus 2x to the power of 2. That will give us plus 2x to the power of 2. So we have here 2x to the power of 2. Bring down the next 10 here, right? Okay? So this is going to give us here plus our 3x. Then uh, what we do here now, we use this to divide this. And if we use this to divide this, this is going to give us our plus um, 2 x here. Yeah. So we use this to times this. This will give us 2x to the power of 2. We also use this to times this. This will give us minus our 4x here. Yeah. We subtract again. So if we subtract this, this will leave the system. This will give us plus. So if we add this, this will give us um, what? 7x. So we have your 7x. We bring down this very guy here, minus 14. Okay. Again, we go with this. We use this to divide this. This is going to give us 
plot 7, so we have here plot 7, so plot 7 times x here will give us you know, 7 x, then we use this to time this, this will give us minus 14. So if we group this, there's subtract, this, this link the system. And so this will give us plus here, yeah, right? So this will now give us what? Zero. So at the point where we have zero, zero, we bring out bigs and bigs, okay? So we multiply the two together. That will give us what we have here. So let's go ahead and I'll continue from the side of the equation. So combining the two, we're going to have here x minus two, bracket, bracket. Then we we'll have x to the power of two plus two x, the plus seven, okay? Equal to zero. Easy. Okay. So we have two cases from here. Here we're going to give us our case one. So this is going to give us here our x minus 2 is equals to 0, which now implies that our x is equals to 2. Okay, now this answer is an approximate value because I said earlier on that if you impute this into your calculator, this is going to give you 2.61 da 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 da. But here we have x is equal to 2. So in other words, if you simplify this, you're going to have this as an approximate value. But we still have two imaginary um, formats or answer that when you, you know, simplify this, we also give you the same answer. So that will be from this. So let's take our case two. We have our case two. So here we have x to the power of two, the plus two x, the plus seven. This is equals to zero. This is a quadratic equation. And so we want to use the formula we call the solving this quadratic equation. And we know our formula that our x will now be minus b plus minus the square root of our um, b squared minus 4 ac all over our 2a. So let's go ahead to bring out our a, b, and c, and the other factor. Okay, let's test for this. We have our a is equal to the coefficient of s, which is 1, and our b is equal to the coefficient of, um, sorry, a coefficient of x. Our coefficient of x squared is our 1, and the coefficient of x is our 2, and our c is the constant x, which is for plus 7. So let's go ahead and put this into the formula. So from here, we have this to be, so we're going to have our x is equal to, here, we're going to give us here a b, which is minus 2, then um, plus minus the square root of our, what we have here, b squared. So we have here 2 squared, then minus 4 bracket. What is our um, a? We have 1 times, in fact, let's just manage this place here, okay, times our 7, okay. Everything all about 2 into 1. So this is going to give us minus 2, the plus minus the square root of our 4, the minus this time this will give us a 28. Everything all about 2. Then if we subtract this will give us minus 2 plus minus the square root of minus 24. Everything all about 2. Again, we can split this into 4 times 6. And 4 is a perfect square, so 4 will come out of the system. So this is going to give us minus 2 uh, plus minus our 2 into the square root of minus 6. Everything in all of our 2 here. And so we can factor out 2 from here. So 2 we cancel out, 2 here, cancel out, cancel out. So we are now left with our minus, minus 1 plus minus, okay, the square root of 6 iota. Okay, this one is out with. So what are the answers to this now we have three answers to this we have here our x yeah is equal to it's going to give us our two then our x two this will give us um minus one plus the square root of six iota and our x three this will give us minus uh, one minus the square root of six iota so um these are the two sorry three answers that we gotta have from this when simplify. So this brings us to the end of this challenge. The last one from this video tutorial, give the video a thumbs up. And again, if you have any question, any comment with regards to this procedure applied here, drop it in the comment section. See you in my next video. Bye for now.